Okay, today we're going to do a long-distance race that begins at the Adler Ranch, goes all the way down through the Grizzlies, through Valentine, down through the Heartlands, towards the shore of Flatiron Lake, then along the shore, then over to the islands, finishing finally on this little island to the south. Our contestants are three popular horses. We have the Warp Brindle Arabian that has nine speed. Very pretty horse. And then we have Buell, big Dutch warm blood that has eight speed. He's going to be in the center. And then we have the Tiger Stripe Bay Mustang, which has seven speed. And it's going to be in the right lane. All right. Arabian to the left, Buell in the center, Mustang right, and we're underway. Now the purpose of this race is to have something that goes over varied terrain. Like up here in the snow, maybe it's more difficult for a small horse to go fast. I don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. But there's also swimming portions to this race as well, which should favor Buell and should handicap the Arabian slightly. And we don't know how the Tiger Strike Bay Mustang is going to perform. We're going to find out, though. So, this terrain also offers plenty of chances to make a mistake. Up here, it's very difficult to stay in the track. And we'll see over the course of the race if um, any of the mistakes the horses make add up to anything significant. Here's one of these trees up here as a reference. Okay, that's about what you'd expect so far. The Arabian is slightly in the lead, and then comes the Buell, and then the Mustang. So fast horse, medium horse, slower horse. About the same gap between all the horses as well, which is what you'd expect. There, the Arabian goes off course, made a mistake there, and has lost a lot of time. Now, this is not a time trial, this is an actual race, so there are no do overs. Um, I thought about that while I was putting this together. Should, if the horse makes a mistake, should I go back and start again? I decided no, it wouldn't be right. I did one training run with a, a different horse, and then I did this race. Right, judging from that tree, Buell is still in front of the Arabian. I'm going to use this point here up ahead. There's a tree I'm going to use as a timing point right here. All right, so Buell is 1.5 seconds in front of the Arabian and two seconds in front of the Mustang. Oh, there now Buell's made a mistake. And just like that, they, the Arabian is back in the lead. And this is a tricky section of trail right here. The Arabian's elite handling is gonna serve it well, I think. Plus its size. A bit more difficult for a big horse to go through a, a narrow place. Right, so now Buell's 2.8 seconds behind. So he lost a one and a half second lead through that mistake, and now he's behind. We'll have to say, it seems like a lot of things are going the Arabian's way, including the weather. All right, we'll use this jump as a timing point. Still 2.8 seconds. So far, so good for all the horses, really. This is not bad. But now that we're on firm ground, I think the Arabian superior speed is going to really come into play here. Now, down toward the bottom of this slope, there's a really sharp left-hander. 
and I anticipate that the Arabian is going to handle that a lot better than the other two horses. We'll see how it plays out. It's right up here. Yeah, nailed that completely. Buell did not. The Mustang also did not. Of course, they had visibility problems, that must be said. This is also a tricky section of trail right here. There are trees, there are boulders, plenty of ways to go wrong here. And Bill was just going for it now, sort of throwing caution to the wind. Mustang had a little bit of a moment there. And this is the river that crosses behind Valentine. I debated not going through Valentine, but then I thought, well, there are wagons and horses and obstacles and stuff that you might have to negotiate to make it interesting. So I just left it. There's a speed limit there, but they'll all have the same speed limit. So I'll use that chopping block there on the corner as a timing point. Four point six seconds, eight point six seconds. So that gap is getting bigger now. It's it's really hard to imagine that situation changing between now and um, when we arrive at the place where we have to swim. I expect Buell's going to get some of this time back there on the swim, but let's we'll use this railroad as a timing point right here. Five point went long. Well, that's a lot of time. I'm, I'm not sure that swim's going to allow him to. It's a short swim, so I don't. I'm not sure how much of the time he's going to get back like that. And this Arabian is just cruising now. If you're curious about where to get the Arabian, uh, I, I do have a video on it. You can just type warp brindle into my channel and you should get a, a video showing showing where this horse can be found it's a free horse it's a high quality horse the only thing about it is it has low health um, the two wild arabians besides the white arabian are, are both handicapped in certain ways and this one has handicapped health all right we're going to use this railroad crossing as another timing point oh cool lightning Oh, almost six seconds now for Buell. Almost 10 seconds behind is the Mustang. You know, horses are going cross country here. They get down to the shore of uh, Flatiron Lake. Oh, serious air time. I'm not sure that was the fastest way down there. But it, it certainly looked impressive. And this is another place where the Arabian's elite handling is gonna help it because Threading a small horse with really fine handling like that is so much easier through these boulders and everything than it is a big horse like Buell with only standard handling. I I prefer race handling myself. That's the, the handling that the Nakoda's standard breads and thoroughbreds have. I, I like it. The elite handling is a little bit too um, twitchy to me. I'm a little bit clumsy with it. But then again, you only have elite handling with the small horses, so it's not a big deal. We're going to use this clump of uh, com common bull rush right here for a timing point. 7.8 seconds. And we're going to turn right, right here. Go out to this island. So it was 7.8 seconds gap before this turn. And we'll use a little fixed point on the shore of this island here to see if this swim has made any difference at all. I would just wait for the Mustang to get up there so we can see what the time is. Right, 4.3 4 seconds. So, Buell cut 
3.5 seconds out of that lead. Yeah, he's yeah, he's right behind that Arabian now. But I think now that they're back on the shore, the Arabian's just going to accelerate away from Buell. The Arabian has 8 acceleration and 9 speed. Buell has 7 acceleration and 8 speed. So 7 acceleration is excellent. That's what the Missouri Fox Trotter has. That's what the Turkmen has, the Bindle Thoroughbred. But the Arabian's just got a little bit more. So every time they go into water, I think Buell is getting a little bit of time back. But when they come out and start running again, it whatever gain he made is going to erode. But still, he was 7.8 seconds back at one point. Okay, in the left screen, you can see the Arabians coming up on the last water obstacle. The finish line is the other side of this island. It's a small island. And I think Buell has run out of space and time. Yeah, there it is. There's a winner. But I don't think it was really ever in doubt, was it? But look, three seconds after 10 minutes of running, that's impressive, actually. You know, the, the Arabian is an elite speed horse, and Buell is a big workhorse, so you can't pace with him. All right, well, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, I certainly did. I had a lot of fun putting that together. It was interesting to compare the different characteristics of the horses against each other to see if it made a difference, and it did kind of make a difference. I mean, I think over 10 minutes, that Arabian could have been further down the road. But at the end of the day, it seems like speed won the, the game and the race. So, until next time, thanks for watching.